In this short video, we're going to be talking about the slave trade and in particular one item associated with the slave trade. And that is these small brass bracelets or manila as they were also known. Manila were used as currency across many parts of Africa and also much wider. They were basically seen as being a precious metal that could be traded for many different items. Unfortunately, one of those items also included human beings. A human could cost several of these manila. Over many centuries, prices went up, prices went down. But actually, they could be used to purchase a human being a human being that was destined for slavery. Now these manila came in different shapes, different sizes, different metal compositions, but this in particular one was manufactured in Birmingham. It is known as the Birmingham Manila, and that is usually identifiable through these very exaggerated endpoints on the manila. So Birmingham manufactured these particular manila as a way to trade with certain parts of Africa. And they went on to be used to purchase slaves. Now, we all know that Britain had many, many links to the slave trade in shipping, purchasing, using slaves in parts of the Americas. But this in particular, this manila, was actually manufactured well after Britain abolished slavery. So why was that the case? This particular manila was found on a shipwreck, on a ship called the Juro, or a schooner called the Juro, which sank off the Isles of Scilly in 1843. Now this schooner that sank in 1843 was carrying a manila despite Britain abolishing slavery in 1807. So that's many, many years after the slave trade was ab abolished by Britain and Britain should not be partaking in any slave trading. So why almost 40 years after the abolition of slavery, were manilas like this still being manufactured within Britain? And why were they being shipped out of Britain to potentially take part in slave trading? So I'll tell you a bit more about this particular manila. This manila, as I mentioned, was found on a shipwreck of a ship called the Juro. This ship was destined for the port of Liverpool. It set sail, came into trouble, and it sank off the Isles of Scilly. Now, its further voyage from Liverpool would have meant that it headed towards Portugal and then on to Africa. So, why was this ship carrying this manila? Now, they may have highlighted that it was to be used as currency for other items, not particularly used in the slave trade. But these types of manila were very much involved in purchasing slaves for many different countries. So the issue is, is that although it may have been registered that this ship was carrying manilas or it may not even have been on the list of items on that particular boat. So it's to us, it's highlighting that despite the abolition of slavery within Britain, those links carried on way after abolition. If these were being manufactured, they were being shipped out of Britain 
Although there was perhaps not a direct purchase of slaves or direct transport of slaves by the British Empire at this point, they were actually still contributing to slavery in some way. Through the manufacture, through the supply and through the shipping of this particular currency. So many of these shipping companies would have been involved legally or illegally in some way in continuing the practice of slavery. Now, luckily, this manila never actually made it to Africa. It was never able to be used to purchase a person. That is a fortunate an event that that ship came into trouble and actually sank. And actually, this was never used as currency to buy a human being and to put them into slavery. I hope you've enjoyed that little piece of bite sized history. It's amazing that something so insignificant, such as a brass bronze bracelet actually could be worth a human life. Helps us to reflect on our involvement as a country in the slave trade long after abolition happened. But it also makes you realise how humans were devalued in certain parts of the world and that such a small, cheaply manufactured piece of metal could actually be traded for part of somebody's life or for somebody's whole life. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you like and subscribe so I can make more videos like this highlighting key parts of our history. Thank you.